Okay. Uh, last video I showed you some uh, work on uh, tape measures and stuff like that. Uh, tape measures and punches. Today I'm going to uh, show a little bit of uh, hammer maintenance. Uh, I've got a couple of uh, different types of hammers here um, that I got throughout time. One of them was for sheet rocking. Uh, the other one, I'm really not sure what type of a hammer this is and what it's for, uh, but it was one that I got from my father-in-law. And just over time, a um, little bit of neglect, a little bit of rust on it here and everything. Uh, but it's still a really good hammer, so I'd, I'd like to show you how to <clears throat> get it back to where you know it's still pretty good and, and usable and everything like that. So I'm going to kind of move you here a little bit back down to my workbench. And this is a sheetrock hammer. It's kind of an older fashioned one, but it's what I started off with when I was doing sheetrock many, many, many years ago. Um, one of the things you want to do is just real, real lightly go over all the steel on the, the hammer and just kind of knock off the bigger pieces of rust on it again like I, I showed you in the other video it's it's not a, a real hard sand it's just a real light sand to get everything back down to the steel a little bit <clears throat> so I got that one sanded down as as much as I'd like it to be sanded down this one there's a pretty good rust spot right here that I'm gonna work on for just a little bit to try to get that down and you can see that with just a little bit of pressure that kind of comes right out of it do it on all the metal surfaces all the way around the hammer get it all the way down to the steel again now when you're doing this part, please keep in mind that you have to grab onto the handle. So try, try your hardest not to get any of the oil onto the handle because that will stay in the handle and cause the handle to be a little slippery. So just take and wipe it down with some of the oil again. Yeah, it kind of brings it right back to kind of a nice looking hammer again. Same thing with the other one. Remember, don't get it onto the handle where you have to swing the handle or swing the hammer, and because it uh, too much oil is not a good thing when it comes to things like this. Um, it will slip out of your hand. Now, if you notice, this this particular hammer right here has a point on it, and it's a little bit dull. So one of the things I want to do is I want to run a file over that to bring its edge back. So the file that I have here, seen quite a bit of use, it's uh, the file that I actually like to use when I'm, I'm sharpening uh, edges on things. It's a mill bastard file, and yes that is the actual name of it. Um, it is a metal file, so whenever you're doing metal you want to make sure you're using a metal file. <coughs> Uh, you just want to take and put a little bit of pressure on it to get your edge, flip it over, and do the same thing on the other side. Bring your edge back.
Now, that little bit of uh, that very little bit of uh, filing that I did brought that edge right back to what we would like to have. It is actually a pretty sharp edge, but that's what you want when you're using a sheetrock hammer. So, that's this video on hammer maintenance. Not a lot to it. Keep in mind, don't get any on the handle. And uh, be safe out there. Have a peachy day. Like and share. And leave comments. Alright, thank you much.